UAE is considered a very young and very modern nation, but a rich load of history and heritage lies just beneath the UAE's gleaming facades and surfaces. If we look at the UAE today, it, it looks modern unless you actually go out and look for the past. But we've got a history that stretches back over a thousand years. We have uh, evidence of trade by sea seven and a half thousand years ago. Uh, we have settlements that, again, over seven and a half thousand years old. Uh, there's evidence of trade with China 2,000 years ago. Several decades ago, when the UAE was still known as the Trucial States and each emirate was ruled by an independent ruler, the lives and needs of the people were very different. There was a constant threat of warring factions and its protection was very important. The big forts of the UAE were built for two purposes. One was as a residence that could be defended uh, and the other was as a symbol, uh, an example of power and authority. If you lived in a big fort, you know, you were a, a person of some considerable political significance, a, a tribal leader. And so where you have the main settlements on the coast, uh, you have the forts in every one of them. Today, many of these structures have been restored or partly reconstructed and now house museums that showcase a forgotten way of life. Al Jahli Fort was built more about in 1891 by Sheikh Zayed I, Zayed bin Khalifa al Nayyan. This combining the history of the site itself with the new technology as built as a museum and a visitor service for a land. Every year we have at least 40 to 60,000 visitors coming really in the holidays with the National Days of the Emirates the last of the year vacations and the new year's uh, vacation also. They act as centuries with stories to tell and are part of the UAE's living history. Dubai's oldest bank, Mushrek, founded 50 years ago in 1967, has incorporated these historical cultural values into the spirit of their organization. It's only when you know your past that you'll be able to build your future. We're still sticking to the heritage of the UAE. Many of our branches are flagship branches that hold our signature architecture, which blends between the past and the future. We have branches that hold the Mashrik identity from the outside, and as soon as you walk into the branch, you feel the technology and innovation that we have put into the financial sector. Some of the best examples of preserving our history can be seen at structures located around the country. Although they were expensive to build, forts and watchtowers became commonplace as measures to guard territories, trading posts, palm groves or precious irrigation systems. Some of them simply served as a landmark to travelers crossing the desert. Do you want to go wandering around the desert to find evidence of Neolithic inhabitants 7,000 years ago? Do you want to go wandering up a wadi in the mountains of Ras al-Khaimah or Fujairah and see the way in which hundreds of years ago people were catching the water and using it for agriculture? It's all out there if you want to go and look for it. First decide what you're particularly interested in and then go out and look for it and you'll find the histories around everywhere. Thank you.